everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing a springtime treat with a unique twist. I'll be making strawberry cupcakes and frosting them with a basil buttercream. I got the idea for the buttercream a few weeks ago. I was browsing the internet and I saw this recipe. I tried it and I loved it. It's such a refreshing and unique flavor and it goes so well with these sweet strawberry cupcakes. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to make them. In a large mixing bowl, I've measured out 3 fourths cup of softened butter and to that I'm going to be adding 1 and a half cups of white granulated sugar. Pour that right in. And then I'm going to use my hand mixer to cream the butter and the sugar together. To my creamed butter and sugar mixture, I'm going to be adding in 4 large eggs, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and since we're making strawberry cupcakes, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of strawberry extract. And the one I'm using has a little bit of color. Drop that in. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to cream all this together. Next, I'm going to add in about half a cup of chopped fresh strawberries. We want some fresh strawberry flavor in here as well. And I'm going to be adding about half a cup of strawberry preserves can never have too much strawberry flavor in here. And I'm gonna top that all off with one cup of milk. Just use a whisk and just whisk all that goodness together. And now for my dry ingredients. I've measured out two cups of all-purpose flour. To that I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of salt and four teaspoons of baking powder. Just toss all that together. I'm just gonna whisk the flour in a little bit at a time until it's all incorporated. And you want to be careful not to overmix, so just whisk just until it's incorporated. I've lined my cupcake pan with paper liners and I'm just using a scoop and filling them up. For this recipe you can also make mini cupcakes with a mini cupcake pan and just do the exact same thing, fill them up to the top. And now my cupcakes are ready to go into the oven. I have mine preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and these are gonna bake for about 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick insert into the center comes out clean. My cupcakes are cooling and now I'm gonna get started on my basil buttercream. So you're gonna want a large bunch of fresh basil and I'm just gonna drop it into my food processor. You wanna make sure your basil leaves are nice and dry. Just drop them right in. To my leaves, I'm gonna be adding about two cups of confectioner's sugar drop that in. You want a nice and dry crumbly mixture with this. So you want to have this dry sandy mixture. This can be perfect for our buttercream. And now I'm going to get started on my buttercream. So I'm going to be using three sticks or one and a half cups of butter that I've softened at room temperature. Just drop all that in. And I'm going to whisk the butter on high speed for about five to seven minutes until it's really light and fluffy. To my fluffed butter, I'm gonna add in a few cups of confectioner's sugar to sweeten up this buttercream. And now it's time to add in my basil mixture. Just drop it right in. And if you really wanna intensify that green color, you can add a few drops of gel food coloring. And then whisk that all together. I'm gonna transfer all my frosting into a pastry bag. And today I'm using tip number 847. And now it's time to get these beauties frosted. And if you want some extra strawberry flavor, you can top each one off with a little strawberry. And that's it guys for my strawberry and basil cupcakes. And while these were in the oven, my whole house had the most amazing strawberry aroma. So I've been waiting very patiently to dig in and enjoy these. Mmm. 
These cupcakes are so unique and delicious. The cupcake itself is so full of strawberry flavor. The preserves, the extract, the fresh strawberries, and that buttercream is really something else. It's so refreshing and it tastes so good combined with these strawberry cupcakes. You wouldn't think to pair these together, but it tastes so good, I guarantee it. So if you guys are looking for a delicious springtime treat, or you have something planned for Mother's Day, make these cupcakes and she is gonna love them. I guarantee it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.